Hey there, Bruins. Here's a quick tip from your friends at the UCLA Library. Today's topic, collecting sources with Web of Science and EdNote. In this tutorial, you will learn how to locate and save a research article with Web of Science, as well as compile a bibliography with EndNote. We'll find Web of Science through the UCLA Library website. On the main page, use the Databases tab, enter Web of Science in the search bar, and click on the first link. Once you are on Web of Science, search for your article using the main search bar. There are many specific search techniques that you can utilize to generate sources, but if you know which paper you're looking for, try simply entering your author and part of your paper's title. Here's an example. You can follow along or search for your own article right away. From the page of results, click on your article. In this example, there are multiple copies, so we'll choose the original version that has been cited many times by other researchers. Notice that this page provides lots of information about your article, including its citation statistics and document type, which will say article because it's a primary article and not a secondary review. Next, we're going to make an EndNote account so you can save your article to a separate database that will organize your sources and help you make a bibliography. Go ahead and click on Save to EndNote Online, then click on Register. At this point, you'll need to pause the video and access your email, which should have a verification code from EndNote. Once you have the code, copy and paste it into the box. Enter your information on the registration page. Select your student status, for this example we'll use undergraduate student, as your primary role, and EndNote for bibliographic software used. Subject area doesn't matter. Make sure to write down or remember your email and password. When you're finished, accept the terms and conditions and click on Submit Changes. Congratulations, you've made an EndNote account. Now we can save your article. Let's go back to Web of Science. If the search bar doesn't save your article, enter your title and author again. Once you're back to your article's main page, click on the Save button and then select Full Record and Send. Finally, we'll return to EndNote to take a look at what just happened. You saved your article to this site and it should appear under the heading All My References. This is where you will save future sources that you find through your research on Web of Science. You'll also be able to make a bibliography once you have all of your sources. To make a bibliography, hover over the Format tab and select Bibliography. Next, choose All References in My Library, as long as all of the sources you need are on the main page of EndNote. Under Bibliographic Style, we'll try Chicago 16th Author Date in this example. As for file format, HTML works fine. Let's choose this and click on Preview and Print. A new tab should open with your completed bibliography, in alphabetical order, that you can copy and paste into your paper. Nice work! Now that you're familiar with Web of Science and EndNote, you'll be able to take your research much further in the future. So, what's next? Here are just a few ideas. Check out our guides and tutorials on the library website under the Research and Teaching Support section for help with a variety of topics, including searching in the UCLA Library Catalog. Want help with the next steps? Come visit us at one of our many campus locations.